Um, where are we going now? Oh, blimey, Matthew's been hanging on forever. Matthew, good morning, you're on TalkSport. Hello, Mike. Yes, sir. Um, oh, about half an hour ago, you, you were talking to the lady about uh, Britain. Yes. Uh, and you were saying that you, you, you seem to think, uh, well, I seem to think that you would jump at the chance to leave Britain. I was wondering where you would like to go. Okay. I've, I've, already, I've already made arrangements. <laughs> well, where, where are you going to go to then? I'm not quite settled yet. It's either Italy or New Zealand. Why are these countries better than Britain or England? Um, um, well, this is only a four-hour program, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you the delights of either unless you've been I mean, there I'm, yourself. I'm, I'm not a well-travelled person. You are? Um, no, I've been, been, been around a few places. Yeah. I'm not, I, would, no, I would not class myself as a well-traveled person. But I do class myself as quite patriotic, and I do, I do, I do, I, do, I love, I love living in. I think it's a great country. Well, I, don't know why. well I don't want to change your view. Huh? I, 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 I want to know why you would prefer to live somewhere else. Um, there are many thousands of reasons why I don't want to live here uh, too much longer. Um, but the give me the main one. Is there, is there one main thing that gets you your back up? What is it? Crime. Crime. I mean, what about South Africa? I mean, there, there are plenty of... I'm not going places. to South Africa. I know, but there, there are I wouldn't go to South places. Africa if you paid me. I wouldn't set foot in the place. What, what about on holiday? I wouldn't go there at all, ever. No, never? No. You watched that program on TV the other day about South Africa? No. About Brits abroad? No. There, there's these ladies who went over there, and uh, it seemed to say that they went over there because our part that was in, and now the part has ended, and uh, uh, they're, all, they're all rushing back because mm. they, they, these, these bigoted people... Uh, anyway, that's beside the point. I mean, I, I want to back to my, my, my original point. Was, I mean, where would you like to go? Why is it better than England? I want to know. Oh, I, I can, for me, it wouldn't necessarily be better for you uh, because I enjoyed the Italian way of life. I love their food. I love their wine. I love the countryside. I love the temperature. Do you love England? I love the people. I think they're the most passionate, laid-back people in the world, and I love their lifestyle. The other thing is I would go to New Zealand for exactly the opposite reason, because loads of space, um, no major political or, um, I'm trying to think the word, um, army or whatever. They, they don't have any great involvement anywhere else in the world. They, it's, they it's look inward rather than outward. I mean, you, you, you get involved in your radio program, isn't it's, it? It's, it's as cheap involved. as chips to live in New Zealand as well. Do you um, love England, though? Do you love England? No. You don't love it? No, I don't. Do you, what, what nationality do you, can, do you consider yourself? Um, I don't really think in those terms. I, I mean, I live here, so I'm English, yeah. I mean, don't you have an identity? I mean, someone said to you, uh, what nationality are you? Well, I suppose English. I'd just have to say British, wouldn't I? I mean, that's a fact of life, but there's no, there's no, certainly no pride attached to it. There isn't. Well, then whatsoever. I mean, I'm, I'm quite, I don't know why, I, I think it's quite unrational, but I think I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite proud of British. Well, I used to be. Oh, what's changed that then? Um, the rising crime rate. The fact that no one has one moment's respect for themselves or for anybody I do. else. I have respect for them. All right, well, maybe you do, Matthew, but you're, you are a rarity. You think? I what about do. The people you work with and your friends, do they have respect for people? No, not most of them. They don't? No. Why, why are you friends with them then? I'm, I'm not. Have you got any friends at all? Oh, yes, but you said the people I work with. I know, okay, well, why are your friends then? I mean, your, 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 social, your social group. Most, like most of my friends are foreign. Um, New Zealand. <laughs> Yeah, actually, most of my friends are Kiwis. Oh, that's strange. Uh, or Italians. Or a few French friends as well. Very few British friends. What are the qualities missing in, 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 in Britain? If you could bring in... As in like, if intelligence. You could qualities. Intelligence. I mean, the, I'm sure you talk to several people. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, when you're talking to people, I mean, are they are, are, are obviously unintelligent? I mean, you talk to thousands of people every, every, you know, every year. Yeah. Are, are, they, are they all intelligent? No. no. I'm not saying that everyone is unintelligent. I'm saying the people that I'm forced to associate with by living in this country don't largely know their arse from their elbow. <laughs> uh, they're out for number one all the time. No one has got a moment for anyone else. We are a terribly cruel nation. Uh, in what respect? We're cruel to people, we're cruel to animals. Uh, we're an unbelievably ignorant nation. Our, our persona are abroad is that we, we all love animals and we're all... Yeah, well, have you seen the latest figures from the RSPCA? No. The no. biggest ever rise in animal cruelty since records began. And who's carrying out most of the cruelty? We are, I think. Teenage boys. Mm. That's the sadness, isn't it? Um, I'm sick of the thuggery that pervades this country. 
um, the wandering gangs of hooligans that walk the streets. They're not committing crime. Well, not crime that anyone would recognise as crime. But they are just intimidating and threatening to those that they feel they can intimidate and threaten. You get kids of seven or eight years old using language that I find utterly unacceptable. And they use it in front of their parents, with their parents, and get it back from their parents. I think we're facing a virtual anarchy in this country at some point. There is just... I really think it's gone to the dog. I truly do. I would have it any other way. I'd much prefer it to be as I would wish it to be, but it never will be. It's gone too far. So, I should be going too far at some point. And I certainly shan't be coming back. That's lab suit certainty. Clive in Hampstead. Good morning, you're on TalkSport. Hello, Michael. Yes, sir. How are you? My health is not in question. Other programmes deal with presenters' health. This one doesn't. Well, I was just uh, concerned for your well-being, Michael, that's all. Mm -hmm. um, where's Mr. Boyd tonight? What's happened to Tommy? I've no idea. Oh, I just wondered if he'd been sacked again, that's all. Oh, he was sitting in for me while I was away, so it wasn't a case of being sacked. It was a contractual obligation. Oh, right. So is he going to be back on at all? I have or? no idea. I don't run the place. What do you want, Clive? Oh, well, I was just phoning about the, uh, the BMP, Mike. There's no need to be rude, is there? Well, who's been rude? Well, he's just sort of raising your voice to me. I mean, well, I want to know what you want to talk about. Well, I'm not a third former, you know. I'm just Well, in that case, tell me what we want to talk about. Oh, forget it, then. I think I will. Yeah, as I said, um, if Matthew, if you're still listening, you've just had a perfect example of what I was talking about. Thick as two short planks. Jean in South Shields, good morning, you're on TalkSport. Hello? Yes, Hi. Jean. Uh, good morning. I would just like to say about the, the teenagers and the gangs that hang around, um, causing trouble and things like that. What would you like to say? I would like to say I've got a 17-year-old son and he is magic. Well, we're very pleased to hear that, Jean, and there's a vote for Jean's son. What a waste of time you are, woman. Great. My son is magic. Well, bloody good for you. David in Howell, good morning, you're on TalkSport. Hello, Mike. Yes, sir. How are you? My health is not in question. Well, at least we've got Jensen. Jensen Busson, Mike. Yes. Well, basically, I, I think he's, uh... No basiclers, please. Sorry? No basiclers, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry, Mike, I shouldn't have said basically, should I? No. Well, I think at the end, end of the day... No, uh, no end of the days. So I think we'll just say goodbye to you, David, shall we? As you don't seem to have a grasp of the language, and it's sort of important that you speak the language uh, to take part in the programme. And as you don't seem to have a grasp of language, it's probably safer and less embarrassing for you if we don't talk.